Hello everyone, my name is Kirkwood Hines. I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today I'd like to just post a quick follow-up to one of my earlier v videos um, where I showed how to create a telescoping assembly in SolidWorks with some distance limit mates. Well, as it turns out, um, in SolidWorks 2015, they've actually provided us a much easier way to do this using a width mate. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at how that's done. So I'm going to bring up my mates, and of course the width mate uh, is an advanced mate, so I'll just expand out that area. Um, now traditionally the width mate was used to center items in our assembly. So it's based off of four selections, our outer boundaries which are our width selections, and our inner boundaries which are tab selections. So I'm going to work on just this first segment in here. So our width selections will be this end face down here and this small face in here. Okay, And then our tab, um, that's going to be our mobile selection, so that's going to be this part right here. So I'll just grab these two faces, and you'll see SolidWorks are automatically just go ahead and try to center that. So it's creating an even distance between um, this outside tab and this width, and from here to here. But now that we're in 2015, you'll see that we have a couple different options for how we're setting this up um, under the width. So if I go with a free uh, width constraint here, and I just confirm this mate, you'll see that I can now move this inside piece forward or backward, um, but it's bound by my width selection. So the tabs being held in place. All right, pretty good. Um, but it goes a little bit further. We can also set this up as a dimension. So this just is essentially offsetting it from one of these faces. Um, but of course, I can't go any higher than uh, the available space in between my widths. Um, I can also do this as a percentage, so we can have it move, you know, specified percentage along that that distance. Um, so that's kind of handy. Uh, if you don't know the exact di distance or you don't want to keep remembering it, just set it up as a percentage, uh, a little bit easier to control. But of course, um, for this telescope, I'm just going to be using the free width constraint. So that's a pretty handy new tool that they've set up for us in SolidWorks 2015. So look forward to checking that out. Uh, thank you for watching.